All right, hi guys. Okay, welcome back to another episode. Okay, we're back and again with geography. Okay, carrying on on our lecture series for atmospheric circulation. Okay, uh, yes, it has been a while since we have touched on this. Okay, so we're finally back. Okay, this time we will actually be going through this topic of convectional rainfall. Okay, a very very simple topic to go through. Okay, and if not, I'm just gonna jump right in. Okay, because actually it's very simple. Okay, so uh, you know that after this, okay, I'll actually be going on to uh, our graphic rainfall, okay, followed by your rocks, okay, and uh, a lot of the cast landscapes, okay, all those kind of things, okay, we will, we'll start diving into those more um, intense physical job topics. Okay, so firstly, what is convectional rainfall? Okay, very simple, okay, you just remember this definition, okay, essentially, they are actually the most common form of rainfall, okay, as the name already suggests, convectional. Okay, it already implies very, very simply convectional activity. Okay, I'm not going to write here because it's uh, I can't really write. Okay, but essentially it basically means convectional activity. So when you actually look at convectional rainfall, you're looking at rainfall caused by intense convectional activity. Okay, whereby it is actually known as the most common form of rainfall. Okay, and it's most common amongst these climates. Okay, basically your tropical rainfall is a tropical monsoon and tropical steppes or steppes, right? Um, these are areas with high heat okay, because they are near ITCZ. Okay, so ITCZ, as you know, is a area of intense convection activity. So this would actually result in a high amount of convectional rainfall. Okay, so how does the convectional rain, um, um, how does it actually form? Okay, so we're just going to go through, okay, right, uh, in causal link form. Okay, what actually happens is that in warmer climates, okay, near the equator, you would actually notice that there is more intense heat and convectional activity. Okay, you need to take note of this, this is very important. Okay, as a result, okay, this is just a definition, huh? it's a definition. Okay, definition of what convection activity is. Okay, um, essentially what happens is that your warm air arise, okay, and this will absorb more water, and you can also hold, okay, or you can store more water vapor. As a result, okay, this heated air parcel will actually expand. Okay, as you know, hot air rises, right? So hot air will basically rise. So as it rises, it will actually reach dew point temperature. So dew point temperature is basically where your clouds will start to condense. Okay, so when they start to condense, they will actually um, form certain types of clouds. Okay, for instance, your cuminolimbus uh, clouds. Okay, so always Take note okay, that clouds only form okay, when they reach dew point temperature. As a result, clou uh, clouds like your cumulonimbus okay, will actually form as a result. So this is actually how it looks like. This is how a cumulonimbus clouds actually looks like. Okay, and as a result, this will hence bring about your convectional rainfall. Okay, so actually if you notice your causal link for this is actually very very simple. Okay, you just need to follow um, how does your rainfall form okay, and then what? are the certain process that will go along with it, okay? The formation, just take note of the causal links, very important, okay? When it comes to explaining rainfall-related questions, especially in your DRQs. Okay, so when it comes to exam requirements, okay, it's actually very, very simple, all right? Exam requirements, they don't require much of you, okay? You need to be really very, very basically just understand the entire process. So this is basically the formation, okay? The formation of how convectional rain is actually formed. Okay, and understand the areas, okay, which it forms. So like I already mentioned, your tropical uh, rainforest, your tropical steps, the basically the more humid tropics. Okay, so your humid tropics is where your convectional rainfall tends to form. And lastly, just take note that it's basically a good form of analysis, okay, when you're actually talking about your climographs. Okay, so it's a very, very good form of analysis when talking about climographs. For instance, why is there extremely high rainfall in um, countries such as Singapore? Okay, you can actually bring in the fact that this is actually a result of convectional rainfall. Then go on to explain the the how the whole um, convectional rainfall is actually formed, and this can actually be a form up question. Okay, so just take note. It's actually a very very important part. Okay, you need to learn how to explain. Even if the question doesn't ask you um, explicitly, go ahead and explain how it works. Okay, that will definitely get you the marks that you need. Okay, so if not, that's all for convectional rainfall. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next part, okay, whereby we'll be discussing more about orographic rainfall, which is basically rainfall that is formed along a mountain. Okay, so be sure to stay tuned for the next um, video that's coming up.